do subscribe to ekda channel and press bell icon to get updates of chat us some basic principles and techniques in organic chemistry and we are doing the topic i rules for ipc nomenclature of uh, alicylic compounds hello friends now we are going to discuss about the rules of the ipc nomenclature for the alicyclic compounds in the previous one we have discussed about the rules of ipc nomenclature of the organic compound that consists of the functional group so what is the kind of different precaution that we have to take while naming uh, the ipc nomenclature of a particular structure that is acyclic uh, in nature so let us talk about that so now let us understand what are the rules of the IUPC nomenclature for the alicyclic compounds. So starting with the first one that is, the alicyclic compounds are named as the corresponding open chain hydrocarbons with the prefix cyclo. That is, the rules are being maintained as it is uh, where we uh, make it for if that is an aliphatic or uh, an open chain uh, hydrocarbon. So even the, the rules will be the same but only the thing is we will uh, have a prefix like cyclo. Talking about the next rule. And the next rule says that uh, if there is only one substituent then the numbering of the carbon atoms of the ring is not required. So this is all we are going to discuss in the uh, in this thing while naming a nomenclature or for a particular organic compound and talking about the next one that is if there are two or more substituents same rule as that of an open chain are being applied and because of which we could give the IUPC nomenclature. So these are the three rules that we have discussed uh, for the alicyclic uh, that is uh, organic compounds and talking about the alicyclic organic compounds these are not like that of an aromatic organic compound and uh, that is the difference between them and uh, we are going to discuss it uh, with the help of the few example so talking about the first one that is this is the one that we have and we have to give the uh, nomenclature to this one so as you could see that uh, the total number of carbon uh, atom that are being present over here is basically one two three four five Five carbon atoms are being present over here and uh, this is basically an alicyclic uh, compound and uh, in terms of an open chain this would be called as a pentane but this is not a pentane this is basically a cyclopentane because it is ali alicyclic in nature and that is the reason that the name of this one would be that is cyclopentane and in this case uh, no functional group was been uh, attached over here so therefore this was a general one that we have discussed uh, that what if uh, an alicyclic compound is so this is the first example that we have discussed over here and talking about the next one that is so this is the one that we have and we have to give the IUPC nomenclature to this one so the total number of carbon that we have to count in the alicyclic uh, and that is basically 1 2 3 4 5 6 so there are 6 carbon atoms over here but this is not benzene because there is no unsaturation over here as we could see so therefore we could call it as a parent name as cyclohexane but talking about the substituents or the functional group that are been attached in this case and even talking about the functional group even R is the one R it is represented for an alkyl groups so therefore in this case the uh, alkyl group that is nothing but the methyl group that has been attached so therefore this would be called as the substituent over here so there is no necessary uh, that we should give the numbering to this one so the suppose if even though if we give if we have given the number as this carbon has the number one where the methyl group is been attached over wow. here so this one would be the carbon one two three four five six so anyhow you could give the numbering and the name of this one would be because the methane uh, is been attached to the cyclohexane that we could see so therefore the name of this would be either we could name it as one methyl that is the total number of carbon in the chain uh, is basically cyclohexane so therefore the name is or we could also write it as one methyl cyclohexane so this is the one that we have did and talking about the next one and uh, this is what we are so the next thing is this one and uh, for which we have to give the IUPC nomenclature for this one and uh, talking about uh, this again the functional group that has been attached over here is again only one functional group has been attached over here but how many carbons are there in the whole cycle and that is basically this is carbon number one two three four five six so therefore there are six carbon atoms that are being arranged in a cyclic form and moreover they are alicyclic uh, so therefore the name of this would be basically cyclohexane when it comes uh, without a functional group but talking okay, about there is a functional group that has been attached on the first carbon atom as we could see so therefore the name of this would be cyclo hexanone because this ONE it represents the presence of a ketonic group and that is the reason that in this organic compound we could find a ketonic group that is C double bond O group is also been present so therefore the name of this will be cyclohexanone 
so now let us move on to the next one and uh, so this were the examples that uh, the first example that we have discussed about which was, which didn't consist of any kind of function group the second one was also consisting of, of, of only one function group or we could call it as a substituent and in the third one that is uh, here we could see that uh, one function group is been attached but what if two function groups are been attached in the same uh, alicyclic uh, organic compound so now so this is the, uh, the thing that we are going to discuss about so here we could see that uh, the functional group that have been attached over here that we should select that is this one and another is this one so this is the thing that we have uh, we have identified and uh, the numbering should be done from which end that is the main thing so because of we have discussed about the priorities that should be given to the functional group so therefore in that case we have got to know that uh, the ketonic group should be preferred more compared to that of a an alkene or a carbon carbon double bond so that is the reason that will the number it this carbon as carbon number one two three four five and six that's the reason that uh, the principal function group is basically the ketonic group that has been attached in this um, uh, organic compound so therefore we could name this as because of uh, it consists of uh, the carbon carbon double bond from carbon number two to carbon number three so therefore this would be called as cyclo hex two in so but talking about the first one that is the first one it is basically a ketone so therefore the name of this would uh, the principal function would be basically the ketone so therefore the name of this one would be cyclo hex 2 in and on the first carbon atom as you could see the ketone group is in present so cyclo hex 2 in o so this is the name for the structure that we have uh, mentioned over here and uh, that's it and uh, but there are few things that we are i'm going to discuss about also and that is the, the this one so this is the structure that we have and we have to give the iopc nomenclature for this one and how can we give the iopc nomenclature that is we have to cite the longest chain uh, the same that we have did uh, just for we did we do for uh, the straight chain or open chain hydrocarbons so in this case uh, the numbering should be done from that and where we could get the substituent so in this case as you could see uh, the methyl group is been present and the ethyl group is been present so therefore there are two groups that are been present over here that is one is ethyl group and one is uh, methyl group so if we consider an open chain and uh, suppose if these two groups are or these two substituents are been present in an open chain we would have preferred the name ethyl first and then methyl because of the alphabetical order that we uh, have made the IUPC rule for an alkane also in that we have seen and so that's the reason that we would give the priority to the ethyl group so therefore this one will be the one that is the first carbon atom second third fourth and fifth so because of the cycle it consists of basically five carbon atoms making this to be called as cyclopentane but we have to also mention the substituents that have been attached uh, or the functional group that has been attached to this uh, uh, alicyclic compound and that is uh, on the first position we could see uh, that is ethyl group and on the second position we could see the methyl group so therefore the name of this one could be written as that is one ethyl two methyl and it consists of five carbon atoms that are been uh, enclosed or that are been arranged in a chain, uh, closed chain. So therefore, the name of this one would be one ethyl, two methyl, cyclo, pentane. So this is what we have mentioned over here. And uh, let us do a few things, and uh, we would cover up everything uh, based on the few examples. And uh, so this is the one that we have, and uh, we have to name it. So there are functional groups that have been attached or the substitution that have been attached over here that is one is CH3 and another is C2H5. But in this case we should number from which end that is the main thing. So if we have mentioned uh, the rules of the IUPC nomenclature for an alkane and which we have got to know that is uh, we should uh, number it from that end where we could get uh, more number of branching. So as you could see this is the carbon atom where we could see more number of branching and talking about this carbon atom this here it is only one C2H5 while the next one is only hydrogen. So therefore the most number of branching that we could see in the in this cycle is basically this one. So therefore this carbon will be named as carbon number one and then we'll move on to the carbon number two and the carbon number two will not start from here it will start from here because in the carbon number two we will get uh, the substrate that has been attached to the cycle the cycle organic hydrocarbon and that's the reason that this one will be the second third 
fourth and fifth again it has been um, the cycle consists of a five carbon chain uh, and that's the reason the name of uh, the parent name of this will be cyclopentane but talking about the first one uh, the first carbon consists of two methyl groups so therefore it could be named as one comma one dimethyl and then we'll uh, do with the ethyl one but the ethyl it starts with e and we should not uh, prefer the number so therefore we could we should write always write uh, the name that is the ethyl it will start early so therefore we could name it as 2 ethyl and for dimethyl the m is important it's not related with di so this this prefix is not uh, validated to give the name so therefore the name is basically 2 ethyl then comma uh, or dash 2 ethyl 1 comma 1 dimethyl and the rest of the thing is basically cyclopentane so therefore the name is cyclo Pending. So that is basically 2 ethyl, 1 comma 1 dimethyl cyclopentane. That is the name of this one. And uh, let us talk about the last one. That is this one. And we have to give the IPC nomenclature. So there are again there is two functional groups that has been attached. One is carbon carbon double bond, while the one is uh, the one which has a uh, uh, chloro group or an halogen atom that is been attached over here. So we should number it from which end? Yes, we should number it from that is carbon carbon double bond. So therefore this one will be the carbon number one two three four five So in this case we could see that uh, on the third position uh, and in this case the principal function will be the carbon carbon double bond That's the reason that we should write uh, It as a suffix or it should be at the end and that's the reason that on the third carbon atom We could find a chloro group. So therefore we could write it as three chloro And the whole cycle consists of five carbon atoms that are been uh, uh, in that is uh, in a cycle form or they are in enclosed in cycle form so therefore it would be called as cyclopentane but if that would have been a saturated one but as we could see that it, there is a presence of carbon carbon double bond over here so therefore we could name it as 3 chloro cyclo pent 1 in or cyclopentene so this is the name that we have given over here so therefore this were the rules of the uh, IPC nomenclature for the LA cyclic compounds and for which we have uh, mentioned few examples also so thank you friends for watching this video I hope you have liked this video and you have understood this video and you will uh, you'll try to do more and more kind of uh, the nomenclature for this kind of uh, LA cyclic compounds so share this video with the friends and just don't forget to subscribe to our channel thank you so much